three point. We put up a vote for the fans to vote for the man of the match, but not they vote for every player. They give them a grade, like mm -hmm. from one to ten, yeah, yeah. to rate the performance. And then at the end of the oh, season, you count everything. we have the the middle, like yeah, yeah. The, to get the. It's average. like the way to yeah, the average, the average, yeah, the average, yeah, the highest average over a whole yeah. season, and only players who played more than sixty percent of the games. So it's not okay. like if you play two games in a cup against a shit team, then you're okay. player of the year. Okay. So you have the highest average score for last yeah. season. Cool. And therefore, we have Ooh. a prize for you. Oh, Tusen Tag. Tusen Tag. It's nice how you do it. Wow, that's cool though. It's heavy. And you said it's nothing. It's really cool. I will put this into my locker like this, you know? Yeah, do that. Yeah. From the fans. That's nice. That means more from the fans than from uh, officials, huh? <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> officials, ah. Yeah. But fans is like, yeah. The real, yeah, and I was happy that we, could act, at, that we could actually give it to you here. I was a little bit nervous yeah. after last season. Really? Yeah. But you take it back that... Yeah, but We're you see, work it out. but you see when I'm uh, how the season ended for me, like at the year is very late. Yeah. And then you come late to preseason, like I did. I was just a week in training, or I just had four trainings. And if you go to a new club, you have to put the movement, uh, the moving with your all your stuff from the apartment. Find a new apartment first. Yeah. You know, that's a lot to do. Yeah. I experienced it the last year, so that's not that easy. If you move in time like this. Yeah, you're a clever guy. Yeah. I've learned. Fuck's sake, that's nice. Where did you do this? Just a shop. Yeah. That does things that's like cool that. That's cool though. Player of the year, uh, voted by the, the <laughs> fans of, uh, of, three, of the three point. Um, what's your reaction to that? Yeah, grateful. Grateful. Really appreciate it that they yeah, gave me the best notes for the for the whole season and yeah. I just want to continue where we ended up last year and uh, of course our, our goals are this year that we're gonna have something holding in our hands and yeah I want to celebrate something with these incredible fans. Yeah, if you should put some words on your first year in Brembe, what would it be? Yeah nice, I just love the atmosphere here. I just love the atmosphere and everything. What? Huh? <laughs> English. Tysk. <laughs> Tysk, naturally. Ich mach mal auf natürlich. Deutsch hier. Uh, no, of course. Mixed feelings because we lost the title on the on the last day. But uh, in the end, our season was just amazing, and we can be also proud what we achieved last year because I think the way we played um, also made us. Yeah, we 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 set our mark in the league because of our style, and uh, that's why I said we just want to continue where we ended up and. Let's hopefully have a have a title this season. But like you said, also mixed feelings. Mm. How is how was it for you to you, you went on loan in Brunby and it's also it's always a bit of a gamble to go as a as a loan player. Um how do you feel about the development that you had in uh, in Brunby? Yeah, for me it was just important that I can get my, my spot in the national team back with good performances on the pitch and um in the end we can say it was a pure success. Because I had the chance to play to play for the national team then, to play at the Euros and yeah, to play in front of amazing fans here in Brunby. And I wasn't expecting that the crowd is that good here. And especially uh, the whole league in Denmark is way better than I expected. And if I would compare it to the Austrian league, it's for me also a little bit ahead. But uh, we have to show it also on international level. That's what we're aiming for also this season because we want to get some point for the Danish league that they will have better places in the following years then yeah um you were very quickly adapted by the fans like you started off with a penalty save in Weile, and then the rest is uh, is history try and describe the relationship you develop with the fans over the year yeah i think now i now i saw that i'm a player who needs fans because passion is I think one of the biggest parts in football, especially when you play for such a traditional club like like Brunby is, um, you can feel the passion from the from the fans, from the whole stands here, actually the whole stadium uh, during a game, and that's what makes it so special to play for a club like this. And I saw um, that you have to identify yourself 100% with the club when you 
on loan here. If you don't do it, I think your your performances will not be that good that you can yeah show them that you yeah you give everything for Brøndby then. Mm. And how was it to be at the Euros uh, with your country? Yeah, amazing. I think everything went just a bit fast mm. because um, as a player you don't really realize what you're doing at the moment. You're just in a tunnel and you you work for the game, then you recover, then next game again and. Everything went fast. I just love to to spend time with my friends there, and yeah, we played some really good games, had some yeah nice experiences overall, and we just enjoyed the time being together. And is it something that, as a player, you can look back on in your career? Like I played in the Euros, and as a goalkeeper, you know, there's only one spot, yeah, ten spots in the in the rest of the field. Yeah, of course. I think when you're when you're a small kid and you start playing football in Austria, you always dream of playing for the national team, and then um, you grab a spot to play such a tournament for your country is just amazing. But you don't really realize it what you what you have achieved because it's it was a long way until there, and in the end, you also need a bit of, a bit of luck, mm. like I had also with my yeah decisions and an unlucky injury for for our normal goalkeeper, and. Yeah, I just try to to enjoy my time there. And we fans were very surprised that you signed for Brumby before the Euros. Uh, but why? <laughs> but I think because in this football world, it's all about the money in many cases. Yeah. And I think everybody knew that you would maybe have many offers after a tournament like the Euros. Yeah. So that's why I think people were surprised. Yeah, but sometimes in football it's not just about money. Like I experienced uh, in the last couple of years, many decisions were made on, yeah, I just want to go abroad. I want to try and see something. But when your family or your, you as a person don't feel comfortable in a team, um, then you don't have a good life as well. You know what I mean? It's So when you found something good, like a beautiful place like Copenhagen and Brøndby is, it's just amazing the, you know, the weather is a bit shit yeah but this we can accept <laughs> um but the rest everything is is brilliant we have uh, beautiful facilities beautiful pitches beautiful guys in the team coaching staff everybody who works at this club is just a yeah nice person being and uh, you don't want to give up something what you yeah started to get going last year and that's why i said yeah why not mm. we feel comfortable in the city and of course it's a long way home but uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool here yeah we were very surprised, but also, of course, ex extremely happy. I think you felt that as well. <laughs> yeah, it's that's what I said. A lot of appreciation I I felt during the the signing week. Yeah, and that's why why I know it's or oh, it was the right decision to sign. And you have said a few times that you didn't hear the four more years no. shouting. No, it was just in the didn't end. You? I, I think no, it was they just in the end. So many times. Yeah. I think I, I just don't listen because uh, always it's Danish and then I don't understand and that, then I just hear the crowd uh, shouting something loud and then I ask Jakey in German, Jakey, what are they singing? And <laughs> I didn't hear it until I think it was the Nordschelland game at home. So actually it was a bit, <laughs> because was then a bit crazy. Yeah. Some of your teammates were singing it as well. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck are you singing there? I didn't get it. <laughs> but now you're here, uh, Patrick, uh, four more years. Um, and you all already told uh, some of the objective for for the upcoming season. Um, playing in the Conference League is important for you guys. Yeah, definitely. I think as a footballer, like I saw now, uh, also with my country, I want to play against uh, different country teams, and I want to play in a group stage definitely this year with Brøndby because uh, this stadium, these fans, floodlight on, international nights. I think this can be something special, and that's what we want to achieve during the qualification rounds. And now you had the first game uh, yesterday, um, but we had a very good season last season. Missed one goal to be champions and um, want to achieve more in the coming season. Where are there still something that the team can work on, like improving in the team? Yeah, I think especially when we saw the last uh, two games, also the last game, last championship and this game, we can see just too many goals. Mm. That's what we have to work on. And um, in the end, just details. I think our style is our yeah, identity. Also, what the coach wants to see from us, it fits the player material perfect. And we just have to keep going in our philosophy and work on daily base what we, what we want to show up on the pitch. Mm. 
Great. Thank you. Uh, of Patrick. course. Of course.